That was 1,983 years ago. At Pentecost, we see tongues of consuming fire rest upon the apostles' heads. St. Catherine of Siena is often quoted, if you are what you should be, you will set the world on fire. We can only be our true selves when we allow the Spirit of God to guide us to what God intends us to be. We need to allow the Spirit to teach us the one same language that unites us with God and others. Only one language can change the world, so we need that one language. Because yesterday, on the vigil mass of the Pentecost, we remember how the different languages in the book of Genesis, when people build the Tower of Babel, the symbol of pride, they are scattered because of the many languages. So only one language then can change and unite the world, the language of love, the language of the heart that will unite the whole world, the language of love of Christ, the language of the heart. Remember, the language of the heart Take note of the word heart so that you will remember. Etch, hear, and understand the word of God. Again, etch, hear, and understand the word of God. E, express this humbly in our lives with love. Again, E, express this, what we hear and understand in the Word of God, express this humbly in our lives with love. A, accept and acknowledge others' gift and skill, not focusing only of ourselves, but accept and acknowledge others' gifts and skill. R, remember all the Lord has done in our lives and thank Him. We always, you know, sing in our masses this R, remember, because we are the people of remembrance. That's why today we remember 1,983 years ago when the apostle gathered the apple and the Holy Spirit descended on them. Ah, oh, remember, right? We always sing this in the bus. We remember how you loved us through your death and still we celebrate for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. That's why we gathered every Sunday to remember, because we are the people of the remembrance. So our remember, tea, teach. Teach others with humility and love. T. Teach others with humility and love. And start with your own family. And only then, if we speak the language of the heart, will the world will be united and all the world's problem will be solved if 
it's one of us will speak the language of the heart as taught to us by Jesus. Again, heart, hear and understand the word of God in our life. E, express this humbly in our lives with love. A, accept and acknowledge others' gifts and skills. R, remember all the Lord has done in our lives and thank him and teach. Teach others with humility and love. Start with your own family. Because the revelation is complete. But the understanding goes on. Thanks to the working of the Holy Spirit. So as, the, as Jesus on today's gospel reading breathed unto his disciples, receive the Holy Spirit. Again, we remember that today. And once again, renew that spirit we received when we were baptized, nourished when we first received him in the first Holy Communion, and strengthened when we were confirmed. So once again, he must him that Jesus 1,982 years ago, breathed unto his disciples the Holy Spirit. Today, we also receive the Holy Spirit as Jesus breathed unto us the Holy Spirit that bring peace. Only with the world speak the language of the heart all the problem in the world will be solved but start within your family because when every family speak the language of the heart what a bright world this would be